Good day, everyone. It is the 22nd of June. I'm doing a flashback to uh, auditioning for the movie Flashdance. Uh, so I've got my special costume on um, and excited for that. And I'll be doing the happy dance very soon because Caitlin is in labor right now. And uh, we're so excited to see, we know what will pop out, um, but uh, I can't wait to see little Liam come. So with that excitement, I'm gonna pass it right on to Amanda, get ready for Liam, because I'm sure he'll be a handful. I'm excited. Um, yeah, so I just want to remind everyone that um, to take your pictures with your little creatures because um, this is the time to do it. And please, thank you. And then please contact me if you still need them because I still have quite a supply. So let me know. And um, I think that's it. We're just continuing to um, just progress and make these changes and continue to be together. And it's just really exciting. So yeah, that's it. Awesome, thanks, Amanda. Um, good morning, good afternoon, Anne-Marie. Nice to see you. Hi there. Um, it was just really wonderful to see everybody um, on Sunday and um, a wonderful service. And we had great donuts and the art fair and um, uh, coffee and a chance to really socialize at church. So we're trying to think about how do we balance and get the best of both. And so what we're, we've decided we're going to do is um, now that we've got folks coming back to church and we can do a live coffee socialize, we're going to do that on our weekly after our, our, our after services. But we're also going to add a can keep doing a zoom um so we're going to do a zoom um sunday social we're going to hold it at four o'clock and it'll be the second sunday of every month we're gonna do it once a month and so it'll be the second sunday social <laughs> uh so watch for that you'll hear more about it um so no zoom coffee this uh, week but we're going to very soon on the second sunday in July, we're gonna have our second Sunday social at four o'clock and on Zoom, as well as please come on Sunday and stay after and catch up with everyone um, under the awnings in the shade and on the patio and having coffee, so. Awesome, thank you, Anne Marie. And yes, new medical news today again, coffee is good for your liver. Mm -hmm. And for socializing. So make Great. sure you come and have your Bethel coffee. Uh, Farah, hi, share with us. Hello. Um, I just thought I'd uh, let, remind people where last week I talked about taking donations for West Valley Community Services for their back to school backpack program for local students and uh, Bethel. You can send donations to Bethel and we'll send a check to West Valley for school supplies and clothing for their for this project. Um, they said that during COVID, their uh, number of people families contacting them for help has tripled over um, the year you know, prior to that. So they're expecting a lot of demand for help with school supplies. So, um, so think about that, pray on it and um, send in a check if you feel moved. Thank you. Awesome, thank you, Farah. Patricia, hot off of being in person at Bethel last week. Yeah. It was such a treat to see you. How are you doing today? Doing really well, and it was such a joyous Sunday, and thankful for all the people that made it happen, the worship team, Pastor Don, every, I mean, and people who attended, and people who participated in the art fair, I mean, it was, uh, it was just magical, so, um, and I know Sundays will continue to be, so that's very cool, and um, just looking forward to coming up with new ways um, to stay connected, you know, even though we're gathered together and ministries are coming back together, able to meet in person. Uh, so all that excitement as well. Um, so all is well, all glory to God and just continue to be safe. And it was great seeing everybody. It was wonderful. Awesome. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, Pastor Don, love your poncho hat. The sombrero. <laughs> yeah. It's the poncho yeah. hats. Yeah, just been to, been to South America and got that, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, just still relaxing and enjoying the, the wonderful uh, Sunday. It's just, uh, as others have said, it was just great to be together. And we had a tremendous uh, number of people coming together and really enjoyed it. And, and uh, I was glad to hear that from Tom about 
more good things from coffee because as you know, uh, without me, Starbucks and Pete's probably would go under, you know, they just, uh, <laughs> no, not really. But anyway, uh, I enjoy coffee. Uh, uh, so anyway, uh, <laughs> I better get serious. This is serious business. This movie, I mean, it's just, you know, people really, uh, they, they take it to heart, you know, so we've got to be careful what we say and do here. Uh, anyway, it's been, it's good to be with you. And as you know, it won't be long and Pastor Ben will be with you and then you'll, you'll uh, probably see some of these uh, movies, but I don't know how that'll decisions to be made about that in the future. Uh, let us know if you really would, uh, you know, if you really appreciate these. I know Tom had said he gets really big uh, reports. Hundreds, could, thousands maybe. You know, yeah, I mean, just people throughout the country that actually internationally. <laughs> no, I don't know if that's true, but anyway, enough enough said. Just keep keep enjoying each day and, and just rejoice with the new openings and new opportunities. I wrote a little thing about families uh, in a devotional this week. And I, I, I said, it really is great that families could come together for worship, that Bethel family come together. And, you know, when Jesus talks about families, it's not just your immediate biological family, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, grandparents, and all that. It's, it's really all of, all of God's people. We're, we're family. And at Bethel, we use that term, the Bethel family. And I, that's important. So keep treating each other in a good way and, and respectful and caring and compassionate and and we'll all all do well into the future. So that's all for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Don. <clears throat> yes, uh, people, we are having great reviews of, of this show. So continue to send in um, your donations. It's We really appreciate them. Um, also, just a couple things to share, updates, <laughs> some facts about last Sunday's worship. We had 111 people on the front lawn. Another five that were helping produce the online portion in the sanctuary building, and then about 50 online watching it live. So it was very okay. fun to see so many of you in person. Um, we also did a, um, an update on what our COVID team had done, and you're, you'll that's on the website now live. Also, it's coming out on the e news. And I'm just going to read just the two specific pieces about outdoors and indoors, just so you hear it on this show as well. Um, so for um, basically, if you're fully vaccinated, you are welcome to go where you please and live like you would like to, respecting what every venue or business asks of you. So for Bethel's purposes, uh, for outdoor gatherings and worship, uh, this is what we're, this is how we're wording it. During this transition time, if you're more comfortable wearing a mask or are not vaccinated, feel free to wear a mask. Um, pretty simple. Um, we encourage you to do that. Um, I think we'll, a lot of people will be wearing masks for quite a while, and that's okay. And we really want to honor and respect that, and each person's opening up <clears throat> at the speed that works for them. Uh, for indoors and on the Bethel bus during this transition time, if you are unvaccinated, masks are still required. Also, at anyone is still welcome to wear a mask if you prefer. So the, the uh, guidelines are pretty simple. Uh, the indoor guidelines have been posted on all the exterior doors of Bethel, just as a reminder when you get there. We do have hand sanitizer stations at all the main entrances of the church. Um, if, feel free to use those um, to feel more comfortable. And as you look at meeting back at church again, um, just let us know so we can calendar that and make sure that works in line with all the other things that are going on. <clears throat> the last thing I want to share is that a uh, person who we've had with us helping uh, craft these um, online worship services <clears throat> is Chris Larson. And uh, he just got um, a contract to go back on the road with a Disney on Ice show starting August 1st. So we're super excited for him. <clears throat> I'm all choked up, can't you tell? Uh, so in the next month, as you see him, um, reach out and, and thank him. He's been a, quite a servant to this place and his talents have uh, definitely helped make it through. So um, do that. In the meantime, enjoy, celebrate. I was with the quilters yesterday. They were giving piggyback rides. Can you believe it? Um, in the fireside room, because they were so excited to be so close. Um, part of that story might not be exactly correct, but uh, they were very excited to be together. So get together, celebrate. You've worked so hard. And uh, our, our state, our county, our congregation, you've been such great, um, a great community to work with and have really worked hard to respect that and to be patient and to move forward. And now you can celebrate. So I uh, continue to do so. So have a great day and uh, we will see you um, on the lawn on Sunday. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.